skaters Jane Torville and Christopher Dean won Olympic gold with their Bolero routine. Yes, we were reminiscing about that, weren't we? The impressive National Ice Centre is part of Torville and Dean's legacy in the city. It was built 24 years ago in the newly named Bolero Square to honour their victory. Rosie Dowsing spent the day there to hear from both accomplished and novice young skaters who have been inspired to take up the sport. Winning costumes proudly preserved. Iconic threads on display at the home of ice skating in Nottingham pay homage to the local Olympic stars that brought the sport before the eyes of millions 40 years ago. Jane Torval and Christopher Dean's long-lasting impact in Nottingham is clear to see at the National Ice Centre, inspiring generations of young skaters like junior champion Alexa. Knowing that they're from Nottingham and that like hopefully one day I can be like at the same level competition they were at, maybe not like the same place, but like getting to the same competition that they were at would mean a lot. Do they inspire you? Yes, definitely. I think with them being on Dancing on Ice as well, it's created a lot of eyes on our sport and I think that's what we needed. Alexa first visited this very rink when she was five. She instantly fell in love with the sport and, ten years later, she trains here twice a day, six days a week. So do you ever think you'll stop skating? I think I want to be on the ice as long as I can, so after I finish competing, I definitely want to go into coaching. Alexa's coach, Tamara, represented Croatia as an elite skater in the 90s. And she says the awe of Torval and Dean spanned the international skating community far and wide. As a 14-year-old coming to such a big championships and meeting your idols and seeing them skate alongside uh, other very much renowned names skating, it was just very, very special. Torval and Dean started skating in Nottingham when they were seven years old and they've been household names here for decades. A civic ceremony was held in their honour after their 1984 win. Yes, what do you think of it all here? <laughs> it's too much, really. And when the Olympic torch came to Nottingham in 2012, they took it on the ice for the first time in Olympic history. Our ice centre in Nottingham was built on the former training ground that Torval and Dean used throughout their ice skating career. Now it welcomes people of all ages and abilities. And who knows, there could be a future Torval and Dean on this ice right now. Well, it's quite simple. Without Torval and Dean, this place wouldn't exist. And the millions of skaters that we've had through the doors in the last 24 years wouldn't have had the opportunity because the old ice stadium was falling to disrepair. And the City Council decided that with the legacy of Torval and Dean, that they had to build a fantastic new ice centre. So what they did was build a state-of-the-art one. The message here is that skating is for everyone, whether you're an accomplished champion or just starting out. On Friday evenings, Nottinghamshire Police even run a programme for children that have aimed Bolero Square as a nod to Torval and Dean's victorious routine. And 40 years after their Olympic success, their sport is still thriving here in Nottingham, with a legacy that inspires youngsters to give it a go and go for gold. Rosie Dowsing, ITV News. I was just thinking that is actually a great example of where the legacy has actually worked, hasn't it? hundred percent, because mm. as I said, the whole place wouldn't be there if it wasn't for the success yeah. they had. Absolutely fantastic. And anyone wondering, yes, all our reporters can ice skate. It's a part of the, yes. part of the interview process. Uh, now, tomorrow we will be in Sarajevo. That's the Royal We. Sam and I will actually be here. Where <laughs> Torval and Dean won that famous gold medal 40 years ago. And we are expecting a big announcement too. So do tune in for that on our programme tomorrow.